all of human beings are driven in order to improve whatever they like, whatever they consider to be for their advantage in terms of comfort, ease, health, well-being. So all of us are questing better quality life in terms of health, mental equanimity, and inner delight, or access to what we call as happiness. We're driven towards that. And whatever effort we ourselves exercise, we know it's not enough. Because sometimes it coincides with a cycle that gives it gives us experience better destiny, some other times it's not. So we we are always subconsciously concerned about the higher power, the source of it all, God, that decrees it all that uh, the ultimate source from which I end up experiencing my present state. So I, I'm appealing to higher consciousness, to that zone of supreme, if you like, light and knowledge, to illumine my path, to guide me towards avoiding wrong actions, going for appropriate actions, so as I end up less flustered. I want to avoid pain. One of the biggest drives towards higher consciousness and awakening is pain. So we are all programmed wanting ease, comfort and so on, and avoid pain and displeasure. We want pleasure. Pleasure implies a relaxed state of ease, reasonably healthy body, clear mind, and access to delight directly of that which is always in bliss, which is my soul. So we are supplicating, we are praying, we are besieging, we are calling upon that source which is also within me. And the obstacles between me and, the, and that source mm. is me, is my own biography, is my own desires, my fears, my phobias, and all of the other lists of wants that I think will enhance the quality of my well-beingness, most of which do not. In truth, we need much less to be well in body, in mind, and heart. But the drive we are all collectively nowadays have in the world is towards more is better. It is unipolar. And that is really not true. Because we love a relaxed situation or a holiday that there is no more. There's you're just there not doing anything. So to take time off, clear the mind, sit still, reflect and call upon or pray or supplicate is conducive to clarity of what is it do I desire? And then also it will be conducive to Am I giving it the right attention? What is my real intention? And so on and so on. So the more one hope, pray, and aim at touching upon higher consciousness, I think the easier and the better our path will be.